Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Howard. This week, first responders with volunteer fire departments across New York's North Country are applauding the state legislature. For years, they've been pushing state lawmakers to allow them to bill insurers and patients for the emergency ambulance services they provide. But year after year, it was never approved or included in a state budget until now. This is a public safety measure. The legislation will now allow volunteer fire departments to bill insurance companies, the same as other ambulance services, for the emergency medical services they provide. In Eltona, the fire department's budget is about $700,000, with 500000 of that going to ambulance costs. Many times, the high cost of the ambulance service came as a detriment to our firefighting service who's forced to use old gear, old equipment, and outdated vehicles. We could not afford to buy better for them. All of our, much of our funding went to the ambulance support. With the Fair Play Ambulance Recovery Act now passed, we can recoup costs for an emergency ambulance call from private insurers, Medicare, and Medicaid. These funds can be used to help manage our district, specifically to fund our fire service. In many towns, the volunteers that staff the department would host fundraisers to help pay for new equipment, but would often still come up short. They have fundraisers to get money for ambulatory equipment, ambulatory services for life-saving equipment. Fundraisers, bake sales, whatever they could do. They worked their butts off to do this. Why, why is that? But now they, can, they have another avenue to get that revenue in for that equipment. And it also helped the taxpayers out because, as you know, if they can't afford the equipment by doing that, they have to get it somehow, so they go to the local taxpayer. So that will help in, in, with that as well. Altona says with the passing of this bill, they'll be able to recoup an estimated $100,000 to $200,000 annually. This is huge. This means replacement of turnout gear. This means new air packs. This means saving for a replacement tanker truck that leaks today as it drives down the road. In short, it means being able to say yes to our fire department when they ask for improvements to their equipment so that they can better serve our community. Our financial future can be more secure and we can invest in the safety of our community. Assemblyman Jones says when the law goes into effect in June, it's estimated that revenues will raise millions for these volunteer fire departments to help them cover their cost and buy badly needed new equipment. We're estimating that in the first couple of years of implementation of this, $100 million will be provided for these services for our volunteer fire departments, 3 million of it, which is going right here to North Country Volunteer Fire Departments. 